بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبة في الله a question was asked and the context of the question is a particular individual or brother young revert who has the desire for ilm, seeking knowledge, ilm, ilm al nafiah beneficial knowledge, knowledge of the shara, knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's religion, how to worship him better. And knowledge based on kitab Allah wa sunnah rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the salaf of this ummah. This individual was, is requesting advice how to do that in America. And they do not have the means to travel abroad and find it difficulty, find difficulty in their environment. What can they do? How can they benefit and seek knowledge, especially with this ragba? The first thing, knowing the fadl of ilm. And this individual seems to know that ilm has a great fadl. The Prophet ﷺ said, طالب العلم فريدة على كل مسلم ومسلمة. Seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every male Muslim and female Muslim. Letting us know that there is some knowledge that is obligatory for us to know. Tawheed, you know, aqidah, at least basic aqidah of who Allah is, His divine names and attributes, something about His divine names and attributes. And Tawheed al uluhiya Tawheed al rububiyah You know, the Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that He's the Creator and Sustainer. He is our Razak, the Provider. And likewise, that all worship is directed to Allah. Every Muslim must know this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes clear that those who fear Him the most are the ulama, are the scholars. So the more that you increase your knowledge, and meaning that you're practicing and understanding that knowledge, you're gonna be, you're gonna fear Allah more. But if you just gain it and you memorize, and you do this, but your practice is weak, then this can be a way in which you may resemble those nations that went astray before us, like the Jews and the Christians. And so, practicing what we preach to the best of our ability is an obligation upon us. And seeking knowledge gives you ilm wa hikmah if you're learning correct Islamic knowledge and practicing it with a pure intention. The Prophet ﷺ said, in ma'amala bin niyat, verily actions are tied to the intentions. The Prophet ﷺ said, "Man salaka tariqan yatalmasuhu bihi ilman sahala lahu luhu tariqan lil jannah." Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. So all of those things let us know about the importance of ilm. And that ilm is a wasila or a means to get to paradise. Allah will make it easier for the one who gains knowledge because they're worshipping him on knowledge and fiqh to come closer to him. So the intention is important. Who you take knowledge from is important. So, the Prophet ﷺ also said, That ilm or knowledge, that a sign that Allah loves a person is that He gives them understanding of the religion. He gives them that hikmah and that ilm. And getting to the advice 
is first making sincere your intention for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you want to come closer to Allah with this knowledge. That's the first thing. Because Allah can make all those barriers to your knowledge easy. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives them fiqh fi deen. He gives them understanding of the religion. That means Allah wants good for the one who is the talib al-ilm. That is a real talib al-ilm, meaning that their intention is for Allah to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not to show off, not to just refute people, not to just do this, not to just that. But their intention is to please Allah and come closer to Him, worship Him on ilm wa basira wa fiqh. That they'll have the assistance from Allah Azza wa Jal. And with that intention, Allah will make it easy for them. Allah will make it easy for him the path to Jannah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also facilitate the path to knowledge. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives them understanding of the religion. So Allah will give you that if you make your intention purely for a sake that you really want to seek knowledge to please Him subhanahu. And if not, you will be rewarded. In the ma'amal ibn niyat, you will be rewarded by your intention. That's the first thing. So the first thing, your intention. The second thing is that. With the ease of this, of getting knowledge in this day and age, that now, even if a person is, does not have, is not, is unable to go overseas, for example, to go study with ulama, that it's possible to seek knowledge by the computer. So he get the internet. This is a, a secondary means, of course. It's not the same. It's not the same benefit. But there's so much recorded, so much translated, and you can even study Arabic online that there's so many ways that you will be doing Talib al ilm If you and and there are free ways. There's ways that are you can pay, and there are means that are just free if you search, search it out. And guess what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy for you. Allah will grant you that success if your intention is pure. And open up ways in which you could never imagine. You don't know if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you the ability to go to one of the Islamic universities to study. You don't know if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you with a scholarship to go to study in an Arabic institute in some Muslim country. You don't know if Allah Azza wa Jal will grant you the ability to be able to go to a place and do informal study in one of the villages where they teach Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam according to the Minhaj of the Salaf of this Ummah. You don't know. You don't know the possibilities are endless with Allah Azza wa Jal. So that intention and making effort. The ulama, they mentioned tawakkal, tawakkal ala Allah. That's the third point I want to make. Aside from being in your locality, locality, using the internet to actually study books, study classical text with students of knowledge in your language, which is English, until you can get the Arabic, there's many recorded durus and lectures by Salafi Tulab al ilm So many websites, abdurrahman.org, Salafi Sounds, all of these websites, medina.com, whatever. There's tons of things, so many that I'm not in tune with, unfortunately. But there's tons, countless, where you can listen to Tulab al ilm teaching the books of the classical scholars. According to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Minhaj of the Salaf. Tons. As I mentioned, the third point of advice I want to mention is a tawakkal because nothing lo ijtama'at an yanfa'uka bi shay'in lam yanfa'uka illa bi shay'in lam yanfa'uka bi shay'in illa ma illa ma katab Allah ta'ala lak wala ijtama'u an yadurraka bi shay'in lam yadurraka illa bi shay'in kad katab Allah ta'ala عليك. 
that even if the nations gather together to assist you on this path of Talib al-Ilm, uh, or, or uh, yeah, to assist you on this path of Talib al-Ilm, or to assist you in anything, they won't be able to do it unless Allah has written that for you. And if they gather together to harm you or to prevent you from Talib al-Ilm, they won't be able to do it unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written that for you. So, this brings up the next point, which is tawakkul ala Allah Azza wa Jal. Rely solely on your Lord. So, and the ulama, they define a tawakkul, one of the definitions, and I, it comes from, of course, the Salaf is one of the definitions, but I recall it from Sheikh Abdul Razak al Badr Hafadullah Ta'ala, and he said, a tawakkul. That it is relying upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and taking the steps, doing the asbab, doing, making the effort to attain that. If you want to do Talib al ilm put your heart totally with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that matter and take steps to do so. Take real legitimate steps. Apply to universities. Talk to people who are, uh, who've done it, who went to universities, who've done, uh, can offer you good advice. And, and this is the first step. Talk to other students of knowledge and people who have contacts. These things are a part of that fi'l asbab. They are making efforts and strive. Strive to save your money. If you're in America, especially in certain parts of the country, the economy is generally good. Where I'm from, there's a lot of jobs. There's a lot of jobs. And you can do it as a young man without a family. You can save your money and go forward. And I'll end. Those are my, my three basic advices with regards to this issue. And I will say, I'll end it with kind of a, a little bit of my own experience in that almost everything that I strove for since I became a Muslim in one way or another maybe the plan didn't work exactly like I wanted it to but everything that had some goodness in it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfilled it when I began to become serious about my religion and I wanted guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I wanted to study Allah facilitated for me to go to Yemen I wasn't patient but the point was Allah facilitated it I wanted to return. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala facilitated. I wanted to go to Saudi. I wanted to study in a university. I didn't get that opportunity. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala facilitated it according to my situation to where I recall when I sent an email back when the email was <laughs> fairly uh, not common. I sent an email and I got an email when I was in Yemen in 1999 about a job in, in 2000. Right at in 2000, right after September 11th, right after literally, or maybe right, right around that time, saying, "Come to Saudi Arabia, please immediately. We have a job for you." That was from Allah, and that opened up my desire to help me to fulfill some of my desire to seek knowledge. Allah opened it up. So those are just some of the experience I can tell you about countless times and countless blessings from Allah and companions righteous companions I met who encouraged me and Allah just opened up things for me and that surely will happen for you but you got to believe in Allah you know put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you got to make legitimate effort to attain those goals especially if there's not much inhibiting you and go for it. And Allah will facilitate it. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said was correct was from Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was surely from myself. And surely from the shaitan. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْهُ وَمِنَ الشَّيَاطِينَ مِنَ الْجِنْ وَالْإِنْسِ وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَمْ عَلَى نَبِيَّنَ مُحَمَّدِ وَعَلَى عَلَيْهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَلَم